Well, while the CELCOM Marathon attracts runners of all levels from all over, most will tell you it takes months of training and endurance, but also a little help from a personal support system. NBC 26's Billy Wagness caught up with some of those cheerleaders along the way today and joins us live at 5 with their story. Yeah, Holly, with runners from 49 states taking part in today's full and half marathons, it can be, well, easy to just become another face in the crowd. And that's why for runners and those cheering them on, it's all about doing what it takes to stand out. For Matthew Gross of Wapaka. I came to see my girlfriend run the half marathon. Today is a first, even for a spectator like himself. So I've never been to a marathon. Gross is here with his girlfriend's parents, but it's not the only sign of support he's brought with him today, though he admits she's good enough without it. Fox City's marathon, she won that last year in the women's division. So she's on a good pace right now. The weather was a lot better than last year. I, mean, I think last year was like 62 when I started at 7 a.m. and this year it was like 55 at 8 a.m. So For runner Matt Barrett of Verona, Months of training with a coach helped him prepare for a course he says he wasn't expecting. I thought, you know, it was deceptively tough. Actually, a little hillier earlier than I thought, like longer, gradual hills. So Barrett would finish today's half marathon in fifth place. The humidity is down, so that has helped. We have some breeze. That's been really great. Race director Tony Jekyll says this year strength was in numbers. Over 2,000 volunteers to make this magic happen. We get smarter in our approach to things, so that number seems to be getting bigger. While the course stayed the same this year, she says slight tweaks to the expo, like yoga for runners. Oh, we'd like to add a little bit more in that. And hands-only CPR training. Something sometimes might happen on the course, and the first responder is the runner. Will be features that will likely be a part of next year's marathon, which leaders say helps bring in close to $2 million over its three-day weekend. And the next few weeks are only a short break between now and planning for next year. Race leaders say plans for 2017's marathon will get underway in September. Keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC 26.